Hey guys, I'm sure you've all been watching the World Cup qualifiers and know by now that one of the game's most famous duels hasn't qualified yet. So before we get started, this is Keith Allen. Make sure to check out the new arena course on ProGuys.com so you can qualify for the World Cup yourself and like and subscribe below. Tifu knew he was in trouble. He sat low ground looking up. It was him and Cloaksy's final qualifying game for week six and the duel sat at 79 points. Close, but not close enough. Turner Tifu Tinny was in a difficult spot. He had no mats and only one more shadow bomb in his inventory. In response, Tifu used his last shadow bomb. He plunged to low ground, desperately looking for a kill, but it wasn't enough. Tifu unceremoniously took a shotgun to the face, ending him and Cloaksy's run for week six. Once again, the most popular Fortnite duel in the world did not qualify for the World Cup. The duel finished with 81 points. Good for a top 10 finish, but just not good enough to qualify. Cloaksy was less than pleased. Scoring system so bad, man. Every single team above us, not even close to our wins. Yeah, I mean, our first, first few games, <laughs> just so good. I mean, the, we just get so unlucky. For Tifu and Cloaksy, this was another bad week. Another week where they couldn't qualify for the biggest Fortnite tournament the world has ever seen. With only six spots remaining for the entire NA East region, it might be a little too late for the fan favorite duo. And for Epic Games, this displayed another worrying trend for their massive event. Fortnite is one of the most popular games in the world. Everyone knows this. But when it comes to massive tournaments, the game's viewership has continued to drop. Tifu alone had more than 100,000 viewers on this channel for the qualifying event. Meanwhile, Fortnite's channel averaged just under 24,000. Regardless of what you think about Tifu, it's just easier to watch his stream than watching the laggy Fortnite climb. To make matters worse, Ninja and Reverse 2K came up two points away from qualifying. And yes, they finished with three wins as well. This brings up two issues. The first is rather clear. Epic Games wants this big name streamers to attend the World Cup. Imagine the biggest Fortnite tournament in the world not featuring Tifu, Cloaksy, and Ninja. Look, I know that Tifu has qualified for the solo event, but to be honest, the duo event is what everyone is anticipating. That event has more money on the line and always has more viewers. Watching your favorite duo is just so much more enjoyable than watching a solo camp in the box. You can hear their callouts, hear their decisions, and hopefully improve your own gameplay. The tournament would be that much better with the big stars attending. There would be more hype and more reasons to watch. Thus, more views for Epic. People have always wondered if Ninja could perform in a tournament setting, and the World Cup would be his chance to finally prove to the world that he can. A title without Tifu and Cloaksy? Well, that would just be a hollow victory. They are two of the highest Fortnite earners in the world. Those two attending the tournament is good for Fortnite. The second problem is a bit more controversial. Is the scoring system actually a problem? Epic Games made waves when announcing an open qualifying tournament, and everyone saw this as a good thing. It created that much more hype, allowing players like you or me to compete in the tournament alongside our favorite streamers and pros. All we had to do is reach the champions division and queue up on Saturday. Unknown players could have a chance to win millions of dollars. But that's not what we're talking about, are we? I know Cloaksy certainly wasn't. The open qualifiers aren't the problem. How each player's earned points is. You should know the point scoring system by now. 10 points for a victory royale, seven points for second through fifth place, five points for sixth through 10th place, three points for 11th through 15th place, and one point per elimination. On the surface, these rules seem fine. They reward placements and also promote a more aggressive game. But that's just it. Eliminations might mean too much. Epic Games has never rewarded eliminations this much. Just take a look at the scoring for two of the bigger TwitchCon events. The World Cup has the first scoring system of its kind. It's the first tournament to give one point per elimination, no matter the time of the game, no matter how many eliminations a duo or solo has. This change in point values promoted one thing, the W key. Now, I don't wanna talk about the current meta. I'm sure you've all been sprayed down by the drum gun, but this changed how everything worked and some duels and solos have been slow to adapt. Kills mean so much. Remember what Cloaksy said? Every single team above us, not even close to our wins. It seems that the smartest players aren't the ones qualifying. The players who get the most eliminations are. W King and successfully winning the ensuing fight can mean the difference between qualifying and not qualifying. This also adds a massive element of luck to the total points. Ask anyone who plays in the late game lobbies. A few lucky zones and you'll be racking up points. You can laser rotating people out of the air and get tons of eliminations, increasing your total points without even winning. I know what you're thinking, yes, it can't be all about the points. 
Tfue and Cloaksy are certainly not without fault. They haven't played their best, it's really that simple. They can complain about being griefed all they want, but they simply haven't been consistent. Every week, Tfue and Cloaksy start out incredibly strong, and week six was no different. They won the first two games and were primed to earn their spot. Nice, nice. Watch. Under us, under us. Yo, look at, look find us, find us, find us, find us, on me, on me. Okay, looking at you. Like hey, no mats. Nice, down. nice, nice. I'm getting mats. Give us mats. I don't have mats. I have no mats. I have no mats. I need you to branch me right now. Okay, I'm dropping. I gotta pop minis. I gotta pop minis. Nice. They're dropping. Knock up flesh. Knock up flesh. Nice, nice. Dropping, dropping, dropping. Guy underneath you. Be careful. Okay, I'm looking. I'm good call. Drop down. Nice. I just got. 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 I just I got I'm popping the tree. I'm breaking the tree. I'm breaking the tree. We're fighting down there. Okay, I'm reloading my RPG. Knockoffs, knockoffs. Knockoffs, last one. Right, okay, right, okay. right. I'm RPGing. Flusher, flusher. Okay. Got her. Coming out. Nice. Let's go. Good way. Yo, I could. There's a link. Oh, There's shit. a link. There's a link behind me. There's a link in between us. Okay. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. It's, 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 it's fine. You got this. You can clutch this out. I have no heal. No raw heal. I, I, I might You're good. There's only three people. No, 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 no. I think you can just get these kills, baby. I believe in you. I don't know if it... I think it... I think it might be a team of two. Yeah, I think I don't drop. Like, there you go. Oh. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> but that's when everything went wrong. While game three was a good finish, Tifu and Cloak went three straight games without any significant point increase. In their own words, the games were a waste of time, but they weren't finished just yet. Their eighth game saw them take home one more win, their third of the day. 15 off that guy, focus on, focus on. Go on, zone, 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 zone. Focus that guy, focus that guy. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Three kills, bro. Yeah. Break the tree, break the tree, break the tree. It's back, back, back. Back, it's back. Got one? My sit right here. I'm gonna go for a shotgun blast. Hey guys, spray him too. I'm dropping that down a bit. That soccer skin's really weak, the black uh, soccer skin. Yeah. One left, one left, one guy fate, left. Fate, fate, yeah, fate tag 69. Again, no armor, no armor, no armor, fate. Don't drop okay, off okay. high. Got him. Nice. But, well, you guys know the rest. Tifu and Cloaksy couldn't get over the hump and had a disappointing finish. Well, more than disappointing since it was just another week they didn't qualify. Now, the Fortnite world is holding their breath these last two weeks. Trust me when I say this, Epic Games wants Tifu and Cloaksy to qualify. I mean, Epic Games needs the Batman and Robin of Fortnite to qualify. Let's hope they have a pop-off week. The clock is ticking. Well, once again, guys, this is Keith Allen Henson. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to stay tuned for more videos coming out.